I'm an oily mess and I just came home from work. I haven't touched up, maybe I should have. No Libby. Prepared much? I don't have my ring on. My nails are looking like crap. Life. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do another episode for me and Paula's series here on YouTube and it is called Shopping House Dash and I'm really excited for this to be continuing in 2020. So it's really weird and really exciting to say that it is the final episode for 2019 and for December we have chosen the color silver because it's also a Christmas color, even though gold, red, white, green are mostly associated with Christmas, but silver is there as well. I love silver, silver jewelry and stuff like that. On my eyes, actually not that much. And it really shows through these shadows that I'm going to show you because I don't have that many. And it was actually really hard to find some silver in my collection. I'm really surprised because if I go for a kind of silver color, it is more like a white shimmer that leans a little bit silver, but it was really more white. Um, and the ones that I remember in my collection are more on the darker gray silver side, or it's not shimmery <laughs> enough for me to call it a silver. Does that make sense? But I do have four glitter shadows, silver uh, glitters in my collection. So we are fine and I'm really excited that I don't have that many, but it also shows that I don't gravitate towards that color that much, which is also exciting because that means I don't have that many <laughs> to go through. <laughs> I hope I make sense. If you haven't checked out Paul already, you should definitely do. She is linked down below as always. Plus the episodes that we have done in this series. So check it out if you haven't already. And let's get into some swatches of the silvers that I have in my collection. The first one I have is from my W7 The Seduced palette. And this is the dupe for Anastasia's um, Soul Tree. That was <laughs> Soul Tree palette. Um, the one that I thought was going to be a silver is this shade right there. Because I thought it was more cool toned and more silver than it is, but it's more like a Toby grey shimmer silver thing. It's called Temptation. This one. So maybe it is more taupe and I have a lot of these colours in my collection. They're not silver, but they are in that kind of family, I think. Or maybe it's it's really a warm toned taupe, but this is the colour. I don't gravitate towards that colour either that much, so yeah. I hope you feel me. It's not going to be perfect, but we're shopping our stash for the silver colour and if I don't have that many, that's also great. <laughs> then I have a silver that I think is more silver than the what I just swatched. It is from the W7 Night on the Tour palette, this one right here. And I am going to swatch... Uh, I'm going to swatch that one because this shadow is actually looking a lot like the one from the Seduced palette so I'm not going to swatch that one. I'm going to swatch the other one. And this is definitely more silver-like and you can also see it is a little bit darker. Yeah, that is definitely not silver. This is more silver metal-like. It's not the silver that I think about when I think about silver, but then we have the Hasina 2 palette from Blush Tribe and I was right, there is a kind of a silver color here and that is called Fay. This is a very blue toned color apparently. Yeah, that looks so blue, oh my god, it doesn't look blue in the pan. Maybe a little bit, maybe it's a light blue. But yeah, so that, uh, that's a blue. I'm sorry, that is not silver. It looked so much more silver in the pan. I'm fooled. That is a blue, definitely. I was so sure that that was a silver. Apparently not. <laughs> Apparently not. BH Cosmetics Weekend Festival palette and I am going to swatch Carnival. 
And I know my best friend Marin, she had worn that on her lid and that looked more of a dark grey silver gunmetal colour. But I'm going to swatch it anyway because it looks silver in the pan. But as you just saw, I can be fooled. So let's see. It's, it's a grey silver colour. And I say that a lot because I don't have a silver silver colour unless it is a glitter. So. We're getting more and more towards the silver part, but yeah, that is not silver. I'm so disappointed, uh, actually, of myself, because I was so sure it was a silver. The next one is from my Urban Decay Vice 4 palette, and I am going to swatch two shadows. And the first one is called Grip, and the other one is called Low. That is Grip, and that is Low. I was almost going to swatch that one, which is called Rubbery, but I actually think that is a warm toned Toby color, kind of. Is that a thing? I think. I don't know. So, this Grip, it is a satin color, but it's kind of gray, silver. And this is a uh, brown, black, with what? What? Are we, can we agree that it has silver shimmers in it? Can we agree on that, please? <laughs> and this is so much lighter in the pan. I'm confused about these two colors, but let's watch them anyway, because now I have them on my fingers. Maybe this is just a fail. I'm sorry. Grip. It is a little. It's brown with. Can you see? Please. Can you see? It has some silver shimmers in it. Yeah, you can see. And it has some shimmers in there too. I don't know what is going on in this video. I'm so sorry. And then we have my Morphe 35K palette. This is what it is looking like. And ooh, I was thinking about these two shades right here so i think this this is more of a blueish gray silver let's swatch it in a way and then this one is a little bit more grayish so maybe the first one here is kind of a dupe for the one in the blush dry palette then the one besides it looked more shimmery these two I thought this was more blue like this one, but it's actually quite silver. So if you think about, I have one more, but if you think about these, then this is definitely winning. The one that I actually thought were more blue in the Morphe palette. Zodiac by BH Cosmetics. I'm pretty sure this is a silver. <laughs> Please let it be silver. That one, right there. <laughs> And that is the Gemini Shimmer Shade. I'm pretty sure that is a silver. Can we agree on that, please? <laughs> please? That is a silver. That is a silver. So, if you think about it, before we move on to the glitters, I only have two silvers in my collection. Otherwise, they are taupe, more bluish, a little bit more warm toned, they have a dark base with glitter in it, or they're more white based in the color. That is insane. <laughs> so that is the most true to color silver that I have in my collection. And then this comes, the Morphe one. That is insane. These are my silvers in my collection before I move on to the glitter. I'm not going to swatch these because then I have glitter all over my floor and me, and I I actually can't handle that. So I'm just going to show you the four that I have. And they are all from W7. I have two loose ones, and I don't have a name for this one, but this is a silver hollow glitter. It's really, really beautiful though. So these are bigger than this one. And this is kind of holographic as well. But trust me, it is silver. And then we have two pressed ones. They both come from the W7 Pressed to Impress Glitter Palettes. The first one is from the Style Icon 
colored palette that one right there and then we have the one called all the rage which is this one that one right there this one is definitely more intense silver like where this is a little bit more muted but they are definitely silver in my eyes so four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen shadows is right here six out of thirteen shadows are silver <laughs> that i have here in front of me so if you take a total i have 13 but yeah these two are the most silver shadows that i have in my collection which is uh, insane i wouldn't say short but it was definitely a I don't want to say that exciting but the exciting part of this video is that I don't have as many as I thought I had. For me not liking silver that much it is really exciting not to have that many true silver colors so I think these are more wearable than in intense silver. Does that make sense? I'm really excited about this update I should say episode in this series. You should definitely check out Paula if you haven't already. I love that girl so much. You should definitely check her out. Her kids is hilarious and she is so nice and so amazing and she is doing amazing with her panning and rotating and on her Instagram she is doing her advent calendar project in here in December and it is so fun to follow her along and she is using products that she haven't used before in that it's just really really fun to see and she is posting looks every single day with the product she has chosen so she, you should definitely take her out if you haven't already she is amazing and you will love her just as much as i do and yeah i hope you enjoyed this video and until my next one please take care bye <laughs>